Hey everyone, it's Nicole Wilkins with Fitness RX for Women. This is my next fit tip. Today I'm going to talk about food that you can travel with. So if you travel for your job or you travel for leisure quite often but you want to stay on track with your diet, here are some things that you can bring through security with no problem. They fit easy in your purse or in your bag. They don't require a lot of refrigeration and you can eat them at any time. So I'm going to start out with carbohydrate sources. The first one I have is rice cakes. Now rice cakes come in all different flavors and obviously if you have the caramel ones there is some more added sugar. But These are just plain salted. Uh, I like to you can eat them plain or you can add a little bit of peanut butter. Um, I always bring oatmeal, rolled oats, uh, oat bran, cream of wheat, cream of rice, and I put them in plastic baggies so they're already measured out. All I need to do if I'm staying at a hotel, just use the coffee maker to make hot water and then um, let it sit for a little bit so that the oats absorb the water and there you have oatmeal. And fruit. So unless you're traveling internationally, you won't have any problem bringing fruit through security at the airplane. And of course you won't have a problem if you are driving. So I have an apple here, bananas, berries, you, you name it. Any fruit is a great snack. Next I'm going to move on to fats. The first one is, um, I've talked about these many times before, but they're little peanut butter or almond butter packets. It's one serving, so it's two tablespoons in one of these, and you can bring these through security. Now, if you were to bring a regular jar of peanut butter, they won't let you because it's over the allotted size they allow, and it is a jelly substance. But this is perfect because it's, you know, just like a gel liquid in a in the right size container, and um, you don't have any problem. The next one is um, these emerald hundred calorie pack almonds or walnuts. This one is cocoa roast almonds, so you have a, if you have a sweet tooth, the cocoa almonds just add a little bit of flavor and um, could kick that chocolate craving if you have that without the extra calories. But they also have just raw almonds, so th these are really great to travel with. There's, uh, I think, seven packets in one of these. And next I'm going to move into protein sources. So I have two protein sources. The first one is your regular protein powder. And if you have a shaker bottle, use the shaker bottle just or an, a half empty water bottle. I just roll up a piece of paper like a funnel and then put it in the water bottle, shake it up and drink it as you go. This is also great for any time of the day. So for breakfast you have your oatmeal that you made with a coffee maker and you have your protein source with protein powder in a water bottle or a shaker bottle. And tuna in a packet. Now tuna is something that they normally won't allow through security because of the water in it. But if you have the packets of tuna, if you're traveling internationally too, I always pack these in my suitcase or um, I put them in my purse. These are totally fine and mess free. And then the last one I have is just a vegetable. So I might cut up peppers, but these are sugar snap peas. You could eat raw green beans, um, carrots, celery, radishes, uh, little cherry tomatoes. Those are all really good things to kind of keep you satisfied throughout the day. So don't skimp on your veggies. So if you travel a lot like me, it's important to stay prepared. You must always have something with you at all times to prevent vending machine slip-ups and um, you know making sure that you stick to your goals. So hopefully those ideas give you something to think about the next time you're traveling. Until next time, this is Nicole Wilkins with Fitness RX for Women. Keep living the fit life.